Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will start with chapter number 11, Area and its Boundary, session 2, practice time. Look at the table. If you were to write the area of each of these, which column would you choose? Make a tick mark. So here three options are given, square centimeter, square meter and square kilometer. So let us start with handkerchief. It is already given square centimeter. Sari. Sari comes in a meter. So we will get the answer in square meter. Page of your book will be square centimeter. School land. The land of our school will be square kilometer. Total land of the city will, be all, will also be square kilometer door of your classroom will be square meter chair seat square centimeter blackboard square meter Indian flag square centimeter land over which the river flows will be in square kilometer draw a square of 9 square centimeter See here it is given that we have to draw a square of 9 square centimeter. Generally, generally everybody makes mistake they will draw a square with 9 centimeter with, with the side of 9 square 9 centimeter. So it will be wrong. You have to draw a square with 9 square centimeter. It means that the square will have side of 3 centimeter. So 9 square centimeter we have drawn then write A on it. It is written. Now draw another square with double the side. So here you can see the side in in A square A, the side is three centimeter. So in square B, the side will be six centimeter. And write B on it. Now answer this. So on the basis of that, both the square and the questions are here. So the perimeter of square A. So we know that the side of square A is 3 cm. So perimeter will be 3 multiplied by 4. That is equals to 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals to 12 cm. The side of square B right, will be double the side of A. So 3 into 2. It will be 6 cm. The area of square B is right and the, if we want to find area of square b it will be 6 multiplied by 6 side into side so that will be 36 square centimeter the area of square b is dash times the area of square a right so area of square is 9 uh, 9 square centimeter area of square b is 36 square centimeter so 9 4 are 36 so the area of square b is 4 times the area of square A. The perimeter of square B is, so we know that the square B has side of 6 centimeter. So the perimeter will be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 or 6 multiplied by 4 that is equals to 24 centimeter. The perimeter of square B is dash times the perimeter of square a so perimeter of square b is 24 perimeter of square a is 12 it means it is double or two times the perimeter of square a take a 15 centimeter long thread make different shapes by joining it ends on this sheet so this i request you to do it by yourself make different shapes and answer the question that follows These are the questions right you have to find out that which shape has the biggest area and how much is the area what is the perimeter of this shape which shape has the smallest area how much what is the perimeter of this shape also make a triangle a square a rectangle and a circle and find which shape has the biggest area and which has the smallest this you will do it by yourself 
save the birds. There are two beautiful lakes near a village. People come for boating and picnics in both the lakes. The village panchayat is worried that with the noise of the boats, the birds will stop coming. The panchayat wants motor boats in only one lake. The other lake will be saved for the birds to make their nests. So here you can see two lakes, lake A and lake B. Scale is also given that one centimeter on this drawing is equals to one kilometer on the ground. So how many centimeters is the length of the boundary of lake A in the drawing? So here you can see the shape of A, lake A is irregular. So you can use thread to find it out. And if you will use the thread, you will find that, that it will be approximately 30 centimeter. What is the length of the boundary of lake B in the drawing? In the same way by, by using thread. Uh, if you will see, you will get the answer that when we measure the boundary of lake B with the help of thread, it comes out to be around 25 centimeter. So how many kilometer long is the actual boundary of lake A? So here we will use the scale given in the map that is 1 centimeter on this drawing is equals to 1 kilometer on the ground. So for lake A, we know that the boundary is 30 centimeter so here the scale is 1 centimeter equals to 1 kilometer so length of the actual boundary of lake A is equals to 30 kilometer how many kilometer long is the actual boundary of lake B so in the same way we can find it out that here the scale is 1 centimeter equals to 1 kilometer so the length of the actual boundary of lake B is 25 kilometer A longer boundary around the lake will help more birds to lay their egg. So which lake should be kept for birds and which lake should be used for boats? So the boundary around the lake A is more than the boundary around the lake B. So lake A should be kept for birds and lake B should be kept for boats. Find the area of lake B on the drawing in square centimeter. What is its actual area in square kilometer? So number of complete squares if you will count it is 15. Number of half squares are 3 and number of more than half squares is equals to 8. So hence the area is equals to 15 full 3 half and 8 more than half we are considering as considering it as full squares. So thus 24 and half square centimeter. Hence the actual area of lake B is equal to 24 and half square kilometer. King story. The king was very happy with the carpenters Chegu and Anar. They had made a very big and beautiful bed for him. So, as gifts, the king wanted to give some lands to Chegu and some gold to Anar. Chegu, take as much land as what comes within 100 meter of wire. So, Chegu was happy. He took 100 meter of wire and tried to make different rectangles. He made a 10 meter into 40 meter rectangle. Its area was 400 square meters. So he next made 30 meter into 20 meter rectangle. What is its area? So for area we have to multiply L into W or L into B that is 30 multiplied by 20. So area of rectangle will be 600 square meter. Is it more than the first rectangle? Yes, it is more than the first rectangle. First rectangle was of 400 square meters. What other rectangles can he make with 100 meters of wire? So, following rectangles are possible. See, 5 into 45, 15 into 35, 25 into 25, 
and so on. So Chegu's wife asked him to make a circle with the wire. She knew that it had an area of 800 square meter. So why did Chegu not choose a rectangle? Because if he chooses a rectangle, he gets less land and if he chooses a circle, he will get more land that is 800 square meter. So he chooses a circle and not a rectangle. Ok Chegu has taken 800 square meters of land. Now I will give you as much gold wire which can make a boundary for land with area of 800 square meters. So Anar also tried many different ways to make a boundary for 800 square meters of land. He made rectangle A, B and C of different sizes. Find out the length of the boundary of each. How much gold wire will he get for these rectangles? So this is the rectangle A, 40 into 20 meters. So gold wire, how much gold wire he will get? So boundary of rectangle is equals to 2, 2 into length plus breadth. That is equals to 2 into 40 plus 20 meters that is equals to 120 meters. So, he will get 120 meters of gold wire. This is rectangle B 80 meter by 10 meter. So, as the, as the area of rectangle B shown as 80 meter into 10 meter. So, the length of the rectangle is 80 width is 10 so gold wire is 80 plus 10 80 plus 10 that is 180 meter now see this rectangle c as the area of rectangle c is shown as 800 meter into 1 meter so the length of the rectangle is 800 and width of the rectangle is 1 meter. So gold wire for C is equals to 800 plus 1, 800 plus 1 that is equals to 6, 1602 meters or 1602 meters. But the anar made an even longer rectangle. See how long. 8000 meter multiplied by 0.1 meter. So he will get, so as the area of the rectangle D is shown as 8000 meter into 0 0.1 meter. So the length of the rectangle is equals to 8000 meter. Width is 0 0.1 meter. So gold wire for C is 8000 plus 0 0.1 plus 8000 plus 0 0.1 that is equals to 16000 plus 0 0.2. So 16000 point two meters he will get gold wire. Gosh, how can I give so much gold? Now king is thinking. Now do you understand why the king fainted? Can you make a rectangle with still longer boundary? I made one I made a rectangle one centimeter wide and eighty thousand meter long. Imagine how long that boundary will be. With that much gold wire, I can become the king. So that's all for today. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day.